Did you say nothing? Right, hang on, hang on, Jim. Sarge, it's Jim Carver on the phone. He says the neighbour knows nothing. Come on, she's the one who made the complaint. Hang on, Jim. I know a word. Sergeant Penn is coming over. Hold on. Oh, yeah, Sergeant yeah. No, can you hold on a minute? No, 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 I'll have to ring you back. It's no good. Right, well, that's uh, like a bloody man. I'll bring you back in a minute, all right? Uh, uh, yeah, this is the third time I'm I've complained to Mr. Snow. Good enough. I can understand how you're feeling. You see, the thing is, if your neighbour's old in the house, she choose to keep a goat in the garden. There's nothing we can do about it. But it's causing criminal damage for all sakes. It took well late time for years to get those very bushes to One license, one current MOT certificate, and one insurance cover note. Sorry, right, sir. Right, Mr. Sargent, I'll just get the deal. All right, I'm sorry about that. The gym. Cheer up. Half an hour, no more. Oh, well, why not? Everything else is happening today, isn't yeah. it? It can't be helped, Chief. I no, can't miss about a bit live. Sarge, the heavy transport man's connection. Oh, good. Glad they're keeping you busy. Yeah, I know he gets results. You only have to look at the records for that. So what are you saying, It's then? the way he gets them that's wrong. It's his attitude. We talk to people. We treat you, me, everyone. Look, there's an old saying. Don't judge me on the way I do the job. Judge me on the results. Oh, bullshit. We're police officers, not sales reps. Look, if the super lets him get away with it, then there's not a lot we can do about <laughs> it. Bloody super. All he wants is a quiet life, getting his foot in the next rung of the ladder. That's all that bothers him. Admin and bloody politics. Right, that's that is plumber. I want him lifted. You better take some backup. There's lots of bit of trouble. Which shall I stick on the sheet, Gov? Just pick him up, Terry, all right? Yeah, but what's the charge? You said to me, Inspector Galloway. That's a call for you, Inspector. Raymond, Carver. OK, love, put him through. All right, Ted, just do it. Leave me to worry about the details, all right? Yes, Conger. All right. Where and when? Ah, what am I going to do about this? Get the ladies waiting. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm sorry about that, Mrs. Oh, that's all right. I've got all day, haven't I? Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Symes. And a cover note. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I open this up, Baz? It tends to want to be another Indian takeaway. Jim, will you assist with the spot of I've got to follow up? Oh, something that needs a man, you mean? So what are you telling me now, then? That this place is going to have to be shut right down completely? Right. Oh, it'll be off about an hour, actually. Half an hour, you said? Yeah, well, it's not that simple. All right, so what are you saying? Two hours? Three hours? No, it shouldn't be. Look, I've got to add the power through to this recharge rack for the personal way use. That is a must. I just can't have it out of service. Excuse me. Can you rig up a temporary line? Yeah, well, it, it just means more work. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but it's going to have to be done. No, no. Have you checked the vehicle registration? Yeah, and it is caution under the name of Symes. All right. Look, leave it with me. I'll get back to you on this. OK, Sarge. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Sergeant Cryer, please. Uh, what name is it, sir? Littleton. Abel Littleton. Right, I'll just get him for you. Can you watch Sarge? Sarge. Yeah, no, Sarge. This is the Yorkie Bar kid here. She might have a ringer there. Bob! Me. I'm off out for an hour. Approaching Dashwood to bring in a Danny Plummer. Pay him in a cell till I get back. Yeah, so is it a sticker or what? No, just a question. It hey, Sarge, there's somebody to see you. Yeah, well, hold on that for a minute, eh? Well, yeah, first of all, I think young Sherlock might have something. Elementary, my dear Sarge. 42? Well, yeah. Yes, uh, PC Littleton. Yes, I've got that. Oh, you're a day early. About what well, I thought I'd pop in and introduce myself, have well, a look around. Okay, what, what, yeah. Yeah, why not? Well, welcome to Sun Hill. Looks peaceful enough to me, Mrs. Beck. Oh, it's peaceful enough, young lady, but you just look at this. Look at that. Took my late husband years to get that to bloom. That bloody thing keeps eating it. Oh, I have tried next door, Mrs. Beck, but there's no one in. It eats anything and everything it does. It stinks as well. There should be a law against keeping him in a garden. I'm afraid all we can do, Mrs. Beck, is try and have a word with its owners. Out of them too. They're bloody hippies, they are. Spend half their time on another planet, if you ask me. Flower power and all that rubbish. Well, we'll call back later and try the neighbours again. Have you tried the environmental officer down at the town hall? Town hall? If I'm in the wrong place, Conga, I'm going to kick your ass. Then if I am, you won't hear me, so it'll come as a nice surprise. Got away with words you have, Mr Galloway. How's your luck? Plenty of it, all bad. This is a piss hole. Nice and private, though. Step into the office. You got something for me, or what? Get the power notes out, Mr Galloway. It's a right good one. Come on in. A tunnel job, a bank, on your patch. Interested? Depends. Ha! Don't take a piss out of me, my old son. Well, me and you are going to fall out, understand? Oh, I understand, Mr. Galloway. You know me. I wouldn't do that. You do anything. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. You're coming across. Or am I going to have to do you for wasting my time? All right. Two names. Frank Parry and Denny Lamb. Where? And the rest. What about the rent? Got to be a good payer, bank job. You slimy git. What's the use of two names? Come on. And finally, our guest rooms. Ooh, we do get some charmers. Look at that. So I see. Yeah. Right. Turns out we got another guest. No, but I used me charm on him. <laughs> Be a copper and see the world, they told me. Oh, Mike, 
Yeah. Can you have a word with Sergeant Penny and Yorkie Smith? Yorkie will tell you what it's about. Okay, Bob. Come on, let's go get ourselves a cup of tea. Good idea. Shaggy little creature with horns and legs. Yeah, it was a little evil, was it, Jim? Well, I wouldn't fancy getting on the wrong end of it. Oh, they sent me wellies, of course. <laughs> we used to keep goats. Yeah, the milk makes great cheese. Young Isn't goats it? are nice to eat. I think that's what's on the bleeding, bleeding menu today. Look at this lot of old tripe. Sit down and join us, why don't you? Kid. Hey. Young goats are called kids. A lot of people eat kids. Look what the sergeant's just brought in. Have to come, I suppose. Tap's never been one of your strong points, has it? All I said was yeah, that come. exactly what you said. Right. PC Abel Littleton, WPC's Viv Martella, Hi. June Ackland, Hi. and PC's Taffy Edwards, Hi. Jimmy Carver, you do, and Yorgie right. Smith. Right. On feeding his okay. fate is, is Pete Muswell. Sit down, then. Thank you. Oh, Yorkie, Mike Dashwood's downstairs having a word with Sergeant Penny about your Mr. Silence. Oh, right, Sergeant. Yeah, have it to pop down. Then. It's your show. I'll leave you with it, all right? But pop in and see me before you leave the building. All right, Sergeant. So we'll do. Hi. Hi. Now that's over with. You're all right with Sarge, Abe. He's one of the best. Yeah, he's right. Excuse me. Excuse our friend. One out of six of you ain't bad, I suppose. What is going on in this place? I took him for Peter Farmer. You know, the chap who had the pub down in Grove Road. That's where I know him from. I knew I knew him, Sarge. You used to drink in his boozer after work. Yeah, which boozer? Oh, the Sabartan Arms. Yeah. I used to drink them myself when I was stationed at Bow Road. Look, what's the address on his brief? Herbert Road. No. His mother used to live in those flats, not him. All right, thanks, Mike. Any idea what this is all about? Yeah, I'm afraid so, Sarge. I've got an idea that he's had his license suspended for yeah. five years. Second time up for drunk driving. All oh, right, thanks, Mike. Mike. Right there, young Sherlock. Where's oh, Ted? Better get the wheels uh, in. He's up in the right, canteen, Gov. Get him, you're both in my office at the double. All right, Gov. Frank? Yeah? This thing don't seem to be working. Oh, look, go check the fuse on the temporary line, all right? And you know, uh, yeah. What's your first impression? He's bright, sharp, good sense of humour. That's about all I can say at this stage, sir. Yeah. This is his third posting in three and a half years. Seems to have a bit of a problem settling down. Well, I'll keep an eye on the situation, sir. Can't be easy, can it? Being a minority within a minority. <laughs> no, it can't. Look, Bob, let's not mince words over this. Constable Littleton gets no special treatment. Well, of course not, sir. I mean, either way. Like you say, he's a minority within a minority. If I find that he's subjected to any form of internal racial bigotry, I'm going to have the offenders out of here in a flash. With all due respect, sir. I know that I don't need to tell you. No, sir. Good. I'm sorry, but it had to be said for me off. I want everybody in this building to understand the score. And for this station to succeed where all the others have failed. I'll leave that in your hands, Bob, all right? Very good, sir. Right, thank you. Give me DHQ, Commander Lang. Yes, sir. This is Detective Inspector Galloway from Sunhill Police Station. Yes, sir. Firstly, could you look in your file and find this station's number and call me straight back, please? Yes, sir, I could give you my number, but I want you to be sure of my identity. Yes, it is, sir. Fine, thank you. Burke. Okay. Right. Who's ready for a bit of excitement, then? 
All right, I think uh, Mr. Plummer was enough excitement for one day, Gov. Come on, thanks. I told you he liked a bit of anger. You're getting a bit old, aren't you? He's down in the cells. Not a happy chat. Well, bleeds for him. Right, forget about Plummer. Something more urgent's come up, Ted. I want you to get onto this firm of estate agents and find out who's got the lease on the empty shop in Queen's Parade. And why? CID, DS Roach. Says he's a bank manager. Tom. Uh, one moment, please. Come on, let's have some action. Now then, sir. Don't say it, Ted. How the hell can we work as a team when we don't know what the bloody hell is going on? He'll put us in the picture soon enough, I suppose. Ours is not to reason why. You're talking like a prat, Mike. Ours is to reason why. All right. All right, you've said your piece. Look, if you don't like the way the governor does his job, then go in there and tell him. But just get off my back, all right? CID, DS Roach. Yes, sir. It's the fourth on the left, past the roundabout. Yeah, that's the one. OK, cheerio. Uh, Sarge, is it all right if I nip out for a minute? Yeah, cool. Right. Shouldn't be long, Bob. At least it's quiet with engine bracket out at lunch. <laughs> What I can't understand is why they had to turn off all the juice and then go out to lunch. That's to show us that they're still in touch with current affairs. <laughs> you are. Never mind, Tom. I'll see you later. All right, then, son. Let's go and see our Mr. Farmer. Oh, Bob. Yeah? I do worry about you sometimes. You know, all that deep thinking can't be good for you. <laughs> what would you know about it? Get stuff. Hey, what are you two doing here? Should have been out on the beat ten minutes ago. Uh, well, yes, Sarge, but we were um, caught of an hour late getting in, Sarge. Yeah, a likely story. Did you sort out that Mrs. Beck complaint? You know, the goat thing? Yeah, we called round, Sarge. The owner of the said goat was out. So we called back this afternoon, Sarge. Right, well, on your bikes, then. Oh, Sarge, can you get comms to run a vehicle check on this uh, registration? No, I think I could manage that. Reason? Well, it's a Ford Transit open-backed, and the registration number on the text just doesn't correspond with the vehicle. Let's have a look. I'll get it checked out and I'll give you a call, all right? I'm sorry, thank Off you. Off you go. <laughs> Hello, Brian. How are you? How to treat you over DHQ, then? What's your belt? Beer, not too bad, thanks. Uh, urgent photos for D.R. Galloway. Uh, has he been going around the back door again? <laughs> you know him, Sarge. Any dodge to get what he wants. Yeah. I'll see you. Sir. <clears throat> All petty stuff. From acorns. Yeah. But first the acorns are gonna fall. And these two are gonna fall, all right. Right. I want you to get onto the civil engineers department at the town hall. I want a complete set of plans covering Queen's Parade. All right, Dan. And Mike, yeah. if they ask you any questions, use your charm without giving anything away. How can I give anything away, Gar? Don't know what's going on. Right, Ted, what you got? Not a lot. The property is up for let, been on the market now six months. Owner? Uh, Mr. Brayinski, but he's out of the country and has been for some weeks. Listen. Did they say anything about the owner employing builders, decorators, anything like that? No. Look, with the greatest respect. All right, just the right. Great. He's moved a bit quick this time. Oh, sorry, Ted. No, I'll be my guest. Uh, Ted, I want you, Mike, Chris, and Jim to be ready for a briefing in ten minutes and call your wives and lovers. You're all on overtime. Cheers, sir. Anything we should know, Roy? Thanks for the delivery, Robert. Oh. Lone Ranger alive and well and living in Southern Nick, is he? You'll be informed if and when. Wonderful. Oh, by the way, what are you do about your Mr. Plummer? Can't hold him much longer without a charge, you know. Well, he assaulted Ted Roach, didn't he? Charge him with that for now.
I'll nip around the side, see if there's another private entrance. Right, Scott. Yes. Good afternoon, madam. Is uh, Mr. Farmer at home, please? Um, no, no, he's not here at the moment. Can I help you? Mrs. Farmer, is it? Oi! Oi! Stop! Oh, damn! That's all I can tell you, I'm afraid. Thank you, Mrs. Farmer. Oh, uh, please don't shut the door, love. I'll be back in a moment. Quick, Sarge, he's doing a runner! Did you get the reg? Yes, Sarge. Shall I keep you a moment, madam? This is not the movie, son, and we are not Starsky and Hutch. Now get on the air and pass to all units. But so I... Quickly, lad. He won't get far. Besides, found old Penny, get three miles down the road and realise he's acting like a wally. Oh. Do we want to play dodgems, then? Once they're through this flank wall here, it's only a matter of digging through about 12 and a half feet of clay and they're directly below the vault floor. It's that simple. Any questions? Yeah. Do we know how they intend getting up through the vault floor? Well, we can only make an educated guess at this stage. I've received no information on that, but I would say they'll attempt a series of small charges. Frank Parry has formed with explosives. When do we go in? It's tricky. If we go in too early, our friends could duck any real charges. I think we've got to let them dig away until they're right under the money. Has the bank been informed, Gov? I spoke to the bank manager personally. I've got a meeting with him a little later on. Do the uniform lads know the score yet? Not yet. For the moment, I want to treat this strictly as an obo number. I want everything to stay and look nice and normal. I don't want our little fern being frightened off. Firearms, Gov? No, right, that's it. Ted and Mike, you take the first turn as of now. Jim, get that cleared up. Ted, I want to see you in my office. already spent some time down on the site. I think the best place for you is here. And if Mike sits there, you'll both have good views of the shop front. All right? Yeah, but we won't have a visual on each other. Now, if I sat here no, Ted, look, and Mike sat my here, way, right? then we can... No, with all due respect, no, I sir... I haven't got time if... for a debate. Christ. What's up with you lately? <laughs> What's up with me? Oh, that's bloody good coming from you, that is. Now, come on, look. That's what is marvelous. all this about? Do you really want me to tell you, Inspector? Oh, done. Do you? Ted. An hour the man, see? Even half an hour. Sorry, Chief. It's a bit more involved than I first figured. Well, how much longer is it going to be now? Half an hour should do it. No, oh, still no lights. Listen, any report now, Mr. Farmer? No, not as yet. What's up with young Sherlock? He wanted to play races around the houses. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Check, Sarge. <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> do you want me to raise him? Uh, yeah, it's worth a try. <laughs> Six zero zero, six zero zero from Sierra Oscar receiving over. Six zero zero receiving over. Jim, that vehicle check of yours, the transit belongs to Frank Parry, but the original disc related to a vehicle registered in the name of Dennis Lamb. Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 5. Are you receiving? Over.
their guts for garters. I know Bob told them about it. Cheers, Sarge. You what? Yeah, all right, lad. Yeah, you take it easy. Oh. All right, good morning. Good morning, Sarge. Hmm? PC Littleton. Well, all. Nice and peaceful in here this morning. What's up? What's your number? Bob, Three, four, the two. recharge unit's been out all night. Oh, good morning. No. How? Left down the stairs, though. Thanks, Sarge. Couldn't remember. Yeah, it's a bit of a worrying yet. Well, how the hell did it happen in the first place? I've got those comedians to rig up a temporary line. Search me. All the radios are flat. That bloody time. Morning, sir. Sleep well, did we? Shut your face. My Sarge asked me to give you an early morning call. Right, little comic, aren't you? What do you call this? How about morning tea? Sorry we run out of papers. Oh, I'm entitled to a sodden breakfast. We don't have that sort, I'm afraid. Only English or continental. Yet not, that I know my rights. We've all got rights, but we get what we get, though, don't we? Stupid Welsh git. The prisoners' welfare, like everything else, see? Cut back. Stuff that. I put in a complaint, mate, and I want Galloway. Grilled or scrambled. They stayed in the pub until crumb. Closing time. Did you go in? No, Gavin. I didn't want to risk being recognised. The guy in the pub knows me. Right, go on. They left the monk's head at about, oh, half past eleven. About half past eleven? Eleven twenty-three. You've got soap on your forehead. Thank you, Gavin. <laughs> Lamb then dropped Parry off at his place at eleven forty-five. Mm -hmm. And I followed Lamb back to his place, arriving there at 12.04. Home to bed like good little boys, eh? Yeah. Don't go, Ted. I stayed outside Lamb's place, watching the van, oh, until 2 a.m. Yeah, I stayed on our outside the site until 2 a.m., and no one came near the place. Who's down there now, Jim? Yeah, yeah, I've just been in touch. All's quiet down there. Right. Mike, back out and relieve Chris watching the van. Any sign of activity, get in touch. Yeah. Ted, back down the site and relieve Jim. I'll be down there myself a little later on. And I relieve myself first. <laughs> all right? OK, so now that you're all aware of the situation on radio communicators, we'll move on. Welcome, please, first, to a new member of our team, PC Abel Littleton. Welcome to Sun Hill. Now, as usual, I will expect every member of our squad to extend every help and assistance necessary for a speedy and uneventful settling in period for our new colleague at arms. All right? OK, moving on. Foot patrol changes for the day four beat. Oh, yes, where a certain Hector the Goat is causing some concern. Uh, we, we, yes, 210 Muswell, 643 Ackland. I think you could go out together on this one. Well, it's kid stuff, isn't it? It should suit the pair of you. Now, the complaint has been dealt with by the night shift, and the owners of the said goat have been interviewed. However, when you're passing 114 Lee Road, just check with Mrs. Beck to make sure that everything is all right. OK? Five beat. Oh, yes. 600 Carver. I'd like you to take out 342 Littleton with you today. Show him the beat. Mind you, you might be able to teach you a thing or two at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which? Oh, and Queen's Parade. That's on the borderline between four and five beats, Carver. You could have another look for your four transit. You never know, you might get lucky. On the other hand, you might not. <laughs> Julia, it's, it's me. It's Dad. Dad? Yeah. What do you want? 
<laughs> Just to say hello, you know. How are you? No, Julia, don't call your mum yet. I'm sorry to call you so early. I didn't get you up, did I? I, uh... <laughs> I just got the divorce papers through this morning and I... I just thought we ought to talk. Talk. You want to talk? Kate. Please. I'm sure Mr. Plummer. We got him banged up still. I'll, uh, I'll be down in ten minutes, all right? The cellar truth room. What? What, do you want to interview him in a cellar or in one of the interview rooms? Uh, in the cell. Fine. You all right, mate? Yep. Fine. Days, and even if we did, I'm afraid it'd be taken away by So your best bet's probably going to be the daughter. She'll eat you alive, so she will. She doesn't, I certainly will, the pair of you. It weren't our fault, Chief. The fuse on the temporary line blew. We hadn't anyway, no. How do you sniff? Oh, oh well. come off it, Pete. You couldn't have made it more obvious. What about yesterday in the canteen? Look, just because I wear a uniform, don't mean to say I ain't got my own opinion. But it's a private opinion. It should be kept to just that in this job, private. You should have learnt that by now. Look, you'll have to get used to it. Oh, what's the problem? Anyway. Oh, my God, you come. You better come quick as that blooming goat again. It's gone off its rocker. Oh, well, you must be Mrs. Best. That's right, so dear. Is that blooming goat? Spectate child of it. Two being banged up in a cell all night. And you might be warned. Van Dyke, please. Well, it's all mouth, if you ask me. Yeah? They caught Ted Roger last month, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, more by nothing by judgment. Room service! Come on, stop messing about, Taffy. We've got a lot to do in there. Compliments to the chef. Breakfast for Mr. Plummer. I warned you, didn't I? This time I piss on you! All right, bloody maniac! Come on, get it cleared up. And what about me, Sarge? My shots? Come on, first things first. Have you talked it out with him? We're well, not exactly talked, if you know what because, I mean. Because, you see, I honestly Am I don't think... Have words with him? It's a matter of gaining his confidence, Jenny. How old is he? 43. No, I mean your son. That woman next door's called them again. Hey, no problem here. Nice police people, no problem. Well, that's not what your next door neighbour tells us, sir. She says there is a problem. For her, at any rate. It's only our goat. There's nothing to worry about. Mind if we take a closer look? Feel free. My home is your home. Yeah, I'm in the garden. His name's Hector. It's a bit of a fancy name for a goat, isn't it? He was a Trojan warrior in an earlier life. Come on, Hector. Come on, There's a nice boy. Come on. Come on, my beauty. Come on. Shit. Oh, watch it! <laughs> now, listen, Hector. I don't want to hurt you, right? I uh, don't you believe it, Hector. I reckon he fancies you. This ain't funny, right? Here, I hope you're not hurting that goat. Don't you oh, come hurt on. Him. He's only trying to be friendly. Well, if you can't do better than that, you're in dead lumber. You got me shivering in my boots, Chief. Who was she? Who you on about now? This old slag you're supposed to be knocking off. No with you. You said, on the night in question, you were shacked up in bed with a mystery. OK. Who was she? What's her name? Oh, yeah, that's right, I was. Can't tell you who, though, Chief. 
a married woman thinks. Wouldn't be right if I did. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and what would rubbish like you know about what's right, eh? Be fair, Chief. You know how it is. I mean, it may well have been your old woman I was humping. You bastard! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Leave it! Leave it, Nutter! You'll shove it! Not enough. I'm making for that! I said shut it! Joking, huh? Where were you born then? The Sunshine State of Hackney, my son. Really? So, what made you join the police force? What's this? The first round of Mastermind? Sorry. It's all right. Everyone asked me that. I joined because I wanted to do something worthwhile. You? More or less the same reasons. Oh, come on. There's a transit I want to try and nab. What's the problem here? He looks peaceful enough, doesn't he? Yeah, you should have seen him half an hour ago, mate. Why don't we just leave him, OK? Uh, well, we'll look after him. No, I'll, I'll give him the old ones over. Now I'm here. See how he is. Eh? Oh, watch yourself, mate. Yeah, right, I'll be right. Hey, Edgar. 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 Is he all right? Oh, I'm not sure. What do you feed him on as a rule? Cabbage spuds? Yeah, usual stuff. He did all this? Yeah, he was scoffing the lot when we got it. Hello, what have we got here? Tasty, isn't it? I don't believe. I'm afraid so. Poor old Hector here is as high as a kite. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea where your husband might go, Mrs. Farmer? Look, love, the longer the situation goes on, the deeper your husband sinks. He's only making your situation worse. He'll be sent to prison, won't he? Oh, well, that's not for us to decide, love. Now, we've checked with his mother. She's not seen him. He has a sister living at Barkingside. Mm. He'll probably go there. Oh, what a mess. Her address, please. 16 Endcote Street, Barkingside. I tried to stop him when you called round earlier, but he was so frightened he was sent to prison. Where did he obtain the other licence, love? You? We'll find out soon enough, love, that you'd, you'd help his situation by saving us time. My maiden name is Symes. I have a brother living in Australia, the same age as Peter. How long has your brother been out in Australia? Mm, must be close on ten years now. When Peter had his licence taken away last year... He applied for another in your brother's name? Yes. He took the test and passed the first time. Everything was fine until he was stopped for speeding the other day. He 
thought it would be safer to produce his documents here instead of Bow Road Police Station. He's too well known down there, you see. Well, thanks for coming in, Mrs. Farm. Is your sister-in-law on the phone? Yes. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'll sit on this for an hour. If your husband walks in here under his own steam, it'll look a lot better when he comes up in court. Sergeant. One hour, mind. You're great softy. What the bloody hell? Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar from DS Roach, are you receiving? Sierra Oscar, Sierra Oscar from Mike Dashwood, receiving. Sierra Oscar. All right, I'll be with you in a minute. Right, sir. Sarge, DS Roach and Mike Dashwood both want Sarge, Hector's in the yard. You know what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sergeant Cryer. Oi! Come on, get that bloody thing off! All right, Chief, don't lose your rag. So sorry, Ted. Please, go ahead. Listen, Bob, very carefully. We're on an oboe job at Queen's Parade, and two bloody red flatfoots are about to blow the whole game. Now, please make contact with them and pull them out. Over. Oboe job? Queen's Parade. Hold on, Ted. I'll come straight back to you. Get me Carver and Littleton quickly. Sorry, Sarge. Yeah, PR units are still U.S. Oh, damn the bloody things. They took them on the off chance, but we've had no joy all day. Right. Inform Sergeant Roach of the situation. Instruct him to take whatever measures he thinks fit. I'll be up in the CID. I'll give them a bloody auto job. Yes, sir. Can I...? Oh. Mr. Farmer. I've come to give myself up. Sarge? Afternoon, Mr. Farmer. I've been expecting you. Please, Smith, take the gentleman up to the charge room, will you? I'll be along shortly. Right, Sarge. Excuse me! Excuse me! What is the problem? Who's get? Come on, you two. Come on, there. What's the crap? Come on, out of it. What a cock. Now, listen. If you've seen fit not to put us into the picture, this kind of cop has messed this up, Robert. They've been helped to find. Oh, Bloody hell! That's messing up. Look, now look here. One it's... more day, that's all I need. Just Looking one more day. If you choose not to. Go ahead, Ted. Sorry, Timmy. Sergeant Roach, it's quickly. Only there now, sir. <laughs> That due to circumstances beyond our control, we have been forced to move in and get two suspects into custody. Over. Um, what's the situation on site now, Ted? Yes, yes sir. Straight up, the Yes, sir. Right yes, sir. Like two and suspects and, and not much else, no, sir. No, no, Unless you count some new shelving, new shelving, some naff plastering in a built-in cupboard, sir. Wonderful. Bloody wonderful. Right. When they bring the suspects back, I want to see Roach up in my office, right? Sharp! Well, if I read the tea leaves, the only thing you'll get out of those two is a dodgy tax disc. Bob, we'll have to have a word again. They're getting slack, but it's like a flaming pigsty. It's been a bit pushed today, Sarge. All the more reason for keeping organised. Right. <clears throat> I'm off to get a pint. I've had enough of this place. Make sure Ted Roach gets that message, will you, love? Okay. Another twelve and a half minutes before Alec comes on. Yeah, that's right. I'll see you. Blimey. Bob! He's gone, Sarge. <laughs> I just don't believe it. One more day. Just one more day, and we would have had him. I don't think so. Looks like your snout gave you a bummer. No chance. What do you take me for? How the hell you and Dashwood let a pair of bloody wooden tops step in and blow it? I just don't believe that. It was your cock up, sir. Nobody else's. You run around shouting and screaming your head off. Just who the bloody hell do you think you are? I'm your governor. That's who I am. Oh, is that a fact? Well, let me tell you something, governor. 
It's about time you learned a few home truths. One more word from you, Sergeant, and I'll have you on a report. I don't give a monkey's what you have me on anymore, sir. You have me up on whatever you like. You cocked up. Not me, not Mike, and certainly not the boys in uniform. You. Right, that's it! And you know something? You used to be a good copper. Bit on the flash side, but good. Now you're just a loud-mouthed bully boy who stamps his feet when he doesn't get what he wants. You don't have a monopoly on being right, sir. Whatever your rank. But listen, Ted. All I'm saying is don't do anything hasty. Well, just go home and sleep on it. Yeah, well, it may not be done to me anyway. And Roy is not like that. He'll cool down. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, I can't guarantee I will. Of course you will, because what's the hey, alternative? The al that bank job was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? What bank? Glasscock Street. It's been on the news. Glasscock Street? Reckon they must have been down there all weekend. The first I've heard of it. Mm. Only dug under the road, didn't they? Straight up the sewer, right into the vault. I knew it. I told them his snout sold them one. Oh, I doubt it, Ted. Glasscock Street's not even on our ground. Yes. Worse. Cheers, Roy. Right then. I'll see you later back at the Nick Tent. We'll go for everything we got. Together. Okay? Yeah, okay. Go off. I'll see you. Yeah, see you, Roy. <laughs> 